Sensex and Nifty ended marginally higher after an uneven trade on Tuesday, propped up by real and IT stocks amid lackluster cues from the global markets. Rising for the ninth session in a row, the 30-share BSE Sensex ended 31.71 points a 0.08% higher at 40,625.51. Similarly, the broader NSE Nifty inched up 3.55 points a 0.03% to 11,934.50. Top gainer in the Sensex patch on Tuesday was HCL Tech, climbing 3.94%, followed by Kotec Bank, Infosys, Reliance Industries, Ultratech Cement and Tech Mahindra. On the other hand, Titan, Sun Pharma, ICICI Bank, Bajaj Finance, SBI and Maruti were among the main laggards, shedding up to 2.18%. According to analysts, the recent recovery in market was led by expectations of fresh fiscal stimulus from the government, but the SOPs announced have failed to cheer investor sentiment, news agency PTI reported. IT stocks continue to gain momentum ahead of crucial Q2 results and better earnings visibility, they added. Market may consolidate due to below than anticipated stimulus package and the large part of the positive Q2 results announced till date is well factored in the prices. The momentum may reverse into a narrow range in the near term, while the undercurrent of the rally is still positive and a breakup is likely based on the continuity of positive results, no fiscal measures in the future and developments in the global market. Today, the banking sector lost some grounds due to adjournment of moratorium hearing to next day, PTI quoted Vinod Nair, head of research at Geojit Financial Services, as saying. BSC Energy, IT Tech, Power, Metal and Basic Materials Indices rose as much as 1.54%, while healthcare, consumer durables, finance and bancakes ended in the red. Broader BSE mid-cap and small-cap indices slipped up to 0.29%. Global equities stumbled following reports that Johnson Johnson was pausing its COVID-19 vaccine trials because of an unexplained illness in a study participant. Bosses in Shanghai and Tokyo ended on a positive note, while Seoul was in the red. Hong Kong was closed for a holiday. Stock markets in Europe were trading in the negative territory in early deals. International oil benchmark Brent crude was trading 1.73% higher at $42.44 per barrel. In the forex market, the rupee depreciated 7 pesce to close at 73.35 against the US dollar. With PTI inputs.